All right, starting the day over here at Universal Drive Shafts to pick up the drive shaft for the 240. They just called and said she was done. Dang, is that her? Yeah. That thing is shiny, dude. It's because everyone can see it, that's why. You guys gave her the polish? Yeah, we get some polish on it. Dang. 13 tenths to read, Spicer, um, 125 volt Sonax. is ready to roll, baby. Yeah, he's oh, smiling yeah. himself. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is sick, dude. Heck yeah, man. Yeah, that came out pretty sweet. You oh, weren't yeah. expecting it to come out like uh -uh, that. I didn't know it was going to be that shiny, dude. Yeah. That looks nice. So this end right here, it's the 350Z trans, yep. and then that's just for the stock diff still yep. on that side. One of the nicest freaking shafts i ever seen. If you guys <laughs> need any drive shafts done, universal drive shafts, they knocked this thing out <laughs> in a day. So thank you guys so yeah, much. Welcome, Appreciate man. that. Looks beautiful. We look forward to all the future builds, man. Oh yeah, this Content is going to be my place. Builds. Boost, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Turns out these guys follow the channel, so oh. I think I'm gonna be taking all my drive shafts over to here. Check her out, boy. Oh, dang, son. Nice polished aluminum. They freaking polished the shaft and everything, dude. <laughs> damn, dude. Oh, we just got our drive shaft for the 240. Thing looks good. Should take yeah. some abuse. Looks a lot different from when you had it, huh? A little bit different, yeah. Almost everything on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Golfy owned this thing over what 15 years ago, you said? Oh, uh, uh, like 10 years ago, maybe? Long time ago. We're old, bro. You look yeah, young. Actually, damn, yeah. It probably has been over 10 years ago. Hello. Tell you what, this is a real hassle carrying this thing around your whole life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. Dude, that is tits. Perfect. Get that thing bolted in there. Look All at right. that shiny new drive Check shaft. It. She's got perfect amount of slide in her. Dude. We're in business. This is the money. Yep. First try. Such an awesome missing. feeling when the shaft just slides in first try. Don't even have to fight it. Lines up, no issues. It's got the perfect amount of spacing on the yoke too. So if it does ever move, it's got a little bit of slippage on the yoke yet. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. Freaking universal draft shafts, boy, I tell you what. Yep, these uh, guys right here. That is one nice shaft, if I do say so myself. Yeah. Nice and smooth, shiny. <laughs> yeah. Comfortable to grasp. <laughs> <laughs> this is going downhill. I'm gonna turn the camera off. Getting her? Trying to. You guys got so much to do. So much. <laughs> Putting the Civic together. Yeah. Bat Rod still has a blown motor. Well, we have a motor. We got a couple days still. <laughs> well, tomorrow's days. Samantha's birthday, so I don't have all tomorrow. So. So oh, Jamie does. <laughs> <laughs> His wife gets here tomorrow too. Yeah. <laughs> so nothing's getting done. We're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like this now. And then you, know, you, know, you know what though? Is. Whatever gets done, gets done. And whatever doesn't, doesn't. Yeah. Like, you guys all back got Saturday morning. There's still one, two, <laughs> four in the morning. Plenty of cars <laughs> to take. Yeah. yeah, we still have like four Yeah, we still cars. have two Elkos that we can go in. Plus the hey, way. true. We have Burn two out. Caminos, we have the Neon, we have, you know, as long as one of these two gets done, I think we're fine. Yeah. What do you think it'll do? Feels pretty good or what? Feels alright. Like a 13? 13? 13? 13? A little nitrous. I think we need to find some. I bet it's a 14 too. It could be. Could be. It could be. It That's sounds like a I 13, was... but it probably is a 14. <laughs> 14 to 101. And mine's probably Ooh, like a. a mile an hour there, buddy. Mine's probably a 15 5 to 16 1. <laughs> Bang, brought the Supra back out today. Yeah, I figured, you know, Cletus and Cars is coming up, so I don't know what's gonna happen after this weekend, so I'm just trying to get some good rides in it. Gonna Say goodbye to it this weekend. Gonna do a big burnout on this thing, hopefully. Yeah, depending on how I feel, I don't know. I, I really didn't want to hurt the body on this car, but depending on how I feel and like, I don't know, I might just send it. I, I mean, if you get out there and it's going good, that crowd's gonna make you send it with everyone That's what cheering on. I mean, I don't care too much about the motor because it's just a stock 4.8, but I do care about the rest of it. I don't want it to fall, <laughs> but you know, you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, I feel like if we get the 240 done, I'm probably going to burn it down. Yeah, that's what you said. You're like, I mean, burn that car down. Like, if it happens, it happens. I don't want to do it, but... say he's going to take care of the car again? <laughs> I mean, because the body's still nice. It might not look like this after this weekend. But... Nah, I think it'll be fine. I mean... I'll stay away from the wall. You might need a new motor, like you said, but the body should be okay. Yeah, just don't just don't tap the wall too hard. She's Those been, barriers don't move. Yeah, they don't. Good little daily for now. Yeah, she's been she's been cruising over nice. Did you want to give the people a little news? Yeah. So I'm leaving Booster Boys. 
<laughs> I'm gonna make my why I left Boosted Boys video. Yeah, it, it drops tomorrow at, at I don't know what time. 5 p.m. Eastern time. No, um, so I decided to just pick up a camera and just start filming like the stuff that I do like that is not seen on the videos because I mean I'm still in Colorado so I don't know if I'm gonna move back to Florida because I don't know what I got going on yet so it'd be cool just to have like some videos in Colorado, some videos in Florida and because I got cars in both places. And like I said, I don't know, I was just gonna give it a shot. I didn't really know what to call it. I was going through names and you know, I was gonna call it Honduru, but I didn't want it just to be about Honduru. So I just decided to call it Emilio's World. So it's just like, kind of like an inside and like whatever I'm doing, you know? And I don't know if I'm gonna do daily vlogs or anything like that. I'm just gonna try to get a video out in a week or whatever, just see how it goes. Kind of put some feelers out yeah, there. And just see how it goes, man. But my first video I'm gonna put up um, is probably gonna be about this at Cletus and Cars. So I think it's going to be fun. I mean, we're still all friends. We're you know, this is our family here, friend. Yeah, there ain't there's no separation. It's just if anything is like, you know, everybody has their own channel. I feel like I'm the last one that don't have a channel. So at least I have somewhere to like put videos when I do have, them, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, he'll be uh making that soon and yeah. the second that goes live, I'll shout you out. Yeah. Put a link in it. Sure. But it's not it's not live right now though, right? It's not live right now, but I'll so. put it live and before you put this video out so if you guys could go over there and subscribe to it it would help a lot and uh yeah man can't wait for the future see yeah what we'll still be hanging out doing stuff yeah, together still it's got just... a lot of things like events coming up too like glamis and all that but i'll still be around i'm not gone forever all right well why amelia left booster boys guys <laughs> so, sad day sad day <laughs> the sun comes out real bright right now <laughs> all right guys it's time to show you one of Arguably the coolest piece we got for the 240 build. We were gonna go with a traditional front mount intercooler, but we went a different route. We were able to uh, get a really good deal on this stuff. Doug from Ocean Auto really helped us out, got this stuff to us quick, and uh, let's take a look at what we got. I guess we'll, we'll just start with this. So right here, we got ourselves a uh, mini electric turbo. We're actually gonna put electric superchargers on the 240. We're ditching the twin turbo idea. We're gonna <laughs> use 20 of these to see how much boost we can make in the burnout contest. And, uh, yeah, I think it should be pretty cool. Compounded. <laughs> no, we're just kidding. This is a water pump, which will be pumping water through our uh, intercooler we've got in this box right here. Uh, real quick, I'll show you guys the tank that should be in here. Tank, a gallon ice box right there. So oh, yeah. we'll have dash 16s coming off the end of that guy. It's pretty nice. We can fill that up with water, ice like or down yet. Yeah, it just twists and pretty sure there's the same one. Cletus runs. Yeah, yeah the same so, one that's on Leroy. So you gotta make sure it's this way, it'd be tight. Why does his leak all the time? We gotta make sure it doesn't do that. Yeah, make sure that lid doesn't But I've seen his spew water before. So we're gonna be mounting okay. that guy in the trunk and then we have all of these fittings along with it inside that bag right there and then in here oh man this is gorgeous oh yeah holy crap we got Whew. our intercooler check that out that is sick. full billet all the way around we got the dash 16 bungs on either side. For right now, I'm gonna leave this thing wrapped up in the bag until we're ready to get everything bolted because we actually do have to wait and get a uh, spacer plate because on an LS, the intake valley right here is actually uh, recessed. On this plate right here, you can actually see there's this bump right here and the mounting surface on the intercooler over here is completely flush. So when we try to put this intercooler on right there, uh, there's a little gap because it's holding it up. So we ordered a half inch spacer plate, which will be here tomorrow, which will give us a nice gap in between so the air can flow in between all that. We'll get her sealed up good, but uh, awesome. yeah, there she is. This guy will set just like that. And we also have to trim a little bit of the firewall back here. It's not gonna be much and we have to relocate these brake lines and this brake booster vacuum line out of the way. That guy will sit about right there. And then we got our Holly plenum. That's going to be nuts, man. Yeah, and then that's going to bolt on just like so. Dang. So, yeah, that's about what she's going to look like. We're going to have both the turbos mounted up right here. And then with this, we won't have to put a 
traditional intercooler on it, so that frees up a whole bunch of room for us to put the big full-size radiator with the oil cooler up here on the front, and we don't have to worry about all the intercooler piping. We can literally just come right off the turbos, make a Y to go up into here, and all of our cooling will be right in that guy right there, and then we can ice the uh, ice box right before a burnout or whatever we're about to do, to make a pass, and we can be pumping ice cold water through the intercooler, and hopefully that'll help keep the intake temps down because Especially like in a burnout contest, like it's gonna get hot, so we're trying to cool everything as much as we can. And I think this is going to be a little more efficient overall. Plus, it looks sick because now it's gonna stick out the hood. Yes, we it's gonna look it's gonna look much meaner. You know, people are probably gonna think we have an LS in this thing when we have the hood on it. So it's gonna be pretty cool. So yeah, super pumped for that. But we won't be able to fully install that until tomorrow once we get that spacer plate, like I said. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys we got that sweet intake. So huge shout out to. Doug from Motion Raceworks for giving us a really good deal on that and getting it here super quick. So it's awesome. Well, we just got both turbos kind of mocked up in place. The manifolds are tacked together and we just got the intake kind of resting on there right now. But that is looking freaking sweet. So we still have a lot to get done, but yeah, that's looking badass. I love it. Yeah, that's awesome. So you get the manifolds completely uh, welded out. We didn't have any filler rods, so we're gonna have to do that first thing tomorrow. You need to have the wastegates figure out like the intercooler piping and stuff like that because we actually don't have any intercooler piping right now so that's something we might be <laughs> scrambling for last minute as well. Um, we have the spacer plate coming for the intake like I said tomorrow so we'll be able to start getting the intake bolted down and get all that put together. We can give Brent his throttle body back. We still need to get our new one put on there and uh, just keep going. We need to start getting the radiator mounted up. Uh, tomorrow we're going to go get a whole bunch of fittings. It's tucked back there. Uh, we're gonna get a whole bunch of fittings and line to do the coolant stuff and then we also need to get dash 16 line to run back to our water box in the back we kind of have it resting in the trunk right here we were seeing where we could put this thing we're probably gonna drill some holes uh, into the trunk and have the lines run through and go up the length of the car up to that intake but uh, yeah we are definitely making really good progress on this thing drive shafts in the twin turb skis the only thing that kind of bugged me is that on this manifold we have to give the pipe a pretty gnarly angle over since these aren't mirrored turbos so to have them in the same spot um, that pipe right there has to have that kind of gnarly angle to it while this one is just straight up and down and then you can see the compressor housings are on the same side over there so if one day we could get some mirror turbos on this that would be sweet and then we could just lop this side off and straighten it back out but uh, she is looking pretty mean boys yeah. that looks gnarly yeah, that's, that's what wild. you think, dude. I can't wait to see flames coming out of it. <laughs> With once the hood's shut, you're not gonna be able to tell. You just see two turbos and that sticking out. You're thinking that's an LS. That LS sounds so weird. Why is she down a couple holes? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there it is. We have only two more days to uh, get her done because it's getting pretty late right now. It is. So we're gonna have to get up early tomorrow, run and get some more parts that we need. Well. A lot of people wanted the, uh, the Gatorade bottle off of the MR2 and a comment got over 2,000 likes. Wow. And that comment is from, yeah. That's a lot. From Otto Grid, he said, him and his little brother watch the channel all the time and his little brother's birthday is coming up and he would love to give it to him. So 
I'm going to be sending it out to him. He just got back to me on Instagram. And uh, yeah, there she is. Threw a little MR2 sticker on there for you. Sign it there, there, and we got 8.7 at 166 miles an hour. I'll throw a couple stickers in there as well, but uh, yeah, I don't know what you're gonna do with this thing, but <laughs> enjoy it. Still has the uh, oil inside of it, you know? It's, it's oh, uh, don't, don't spill it, bro. Uh, I don't think there's enough to spill, <laughs> but you know, it's got some high quality Brad Penn in there. So yeah, do with do whatever you want with it, but hope you enjoy it, man. It's going away, Wyatt, don't worry. Yeah, <laughs> it's out of the shop, so we're freeing up the clutter. Well, we guys, we are done for tonight. Uh, doesn't look like we got a lot done, you know, just by looking at it, but we got a lot knocked out. Uh, as yeah. you can see, we also have a radiator on there as well. I just got that mounted. We had to cut a piece of the factory support out to uh, get to our cap right there. We bought, are... I was going to say, you bought more parts off the race truck build. Yep. So this is actually <laughs> from Wyatt's race truck. I'm buying this from him. Uh, we're going to be using this for our oil cooler. A uh, fan actually dropped one off but we need one with dash 10 in and out. So we're yeah. just gonna use this one. This was our last resort. We knew we had it, but I was trying not to have to steal Wyatt's parts. But uh, yeah, I just bought it off him. I'm gonna get him a new one. So this will be going onto the S14 so we can cool the oil. So we still need to get that guy mounted up. We got the billet plate put on to take place of that stock uh, oil filter housing. So we got that out of the way. It's yeah. four o'clock in the morning right now, super late. We'll definitely know by the end of tomorrow you know where we're looking if it's still like we're missing some stuff we're not gonna make it but yeah by the end of tomorrow we'll really know I think we'll be alright we're still on a good track here so I think it's really gonna start coming together tomorrow once we have everything and then I have to go you know get parts and do stuff and why it's gonna stay here knocking some stuff out while we're out gone getting some parts so we have wiring and stuff coming in tomorrow we'll get her knocked out yeah go Wyatt Man behind the camera. Yay me. <laughs> hey, why it's been over here just killing it, dude. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Boosted Boys. Back to you, Kyle. I got nothing. Let's go to bed. <laughs>